Hello, this is Peter from First Maths. Today we are looking at ratio and proportion. We don't need any extra resources. The mental learning objective. Solve simple problems using ratio and proportion. Mental learning task. Spend a few minutes reciting multiplication tables. Then ask questions about isolated facts adjusted to suit children's skills. Pause the video and complete the task. We are now going to keep on doubling and halving to see as far as a class you can go. How far can you double starting at 1? Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you double starting at 3? Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you double starting at 10? Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you double starting at 27? Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you double starting at 100? That's a big number. Pause the video and complete this task. How far can you half starting at 100? This time we're halving. Okay. Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you half starting at 1000? Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you half starting at 10? Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you half starting at 1? Pause the video and complete the task. How far can you half starting at 30? Pause the video and complete the task. Mental learning objective. Solve simple problems using ratio and proportion. Main learning objective. Identify and use appropriate operations to solve word problems. Make and investigate a general statement about familiar numbers by finding examples that satisfy it. Key idea. I can make generalizations with proportion and number. This is our big idea of the day, so keep it in your head. Main learning task. Today I want you to do a thought experiment. The work is still on ratio, but there are no beads. You have to imagine the things being given out. Cinderella and her stepsister never got treated equally. Cinders did all the housework. Her sister did none. Every pound Dad gave Cinders, he gave three pound to the sister. Both sisters put their money in the building society, but of course the sister managed to save three times as fast as Cinders. The ratio of Cinders' savings to her sister's savings were one to three. Now I want you to help me work out how their savings accumulated. Pause the video and complete this table. Every pound Cinder saves, her sister saves three pound. What sister has saved is a multiple of three. What is a multiple for the total savings? Pause the video and work it out. By the time Cinders has saved £11, how much has her sister saved? Pause the video and work it out. If they have saved £20 together, how much of that belongs to Cinders and how much to the sister? Pause the video and work it out. How do you solve this problem? 
Best way is to divide twenty pound into four parts. Give three to the sister and one to Cindy. Pause the video and work it out. Main learning task. Now you're going to construct a similar table for a different ratio. The situation is even more unfair. Every time Cinders gets one pound, her sister gets even more, say four or five pound. You choose the ratio. Write down every amount. Cinder says up to ten pound and work out how much the sister gets and what their savings are each time. Pause the video and work it out. Challenge. Direct children to work with higher numbers or use a ratio of say 2 to 5, which is tricky. They can work with fractional numbers or decimal numbers. Here is the chart. Pause the video and ask the students to complete it. Main learning objectives. Identify and use appropriate operations to solve word problems. Make and investigate a general statement about familiar numbers by finding examples that satisfy it. Plenary. Complete the following table. Pause the video and complete the table. How could we generalize what we find? Pause the video and discuss the question. Homework. Construct a similar table for a ratio of 1 to 10. Or of course you could do it right now. Pause the video if you'd like to continue doing it right now. Challenge children. Complete one with either 3 to 7 or 4 to 9. Pause the video if you'd like to try that now. Review of the key ideas. I can make generalizations with proportion and love. Did you learn this in today's lesson? Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like below. Please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell to be informed every time I upload a math resource. I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye!